I'm assuming that you really don't know how to trade. Trade simple breakouts. The interesting thing is that even if you go wrong, you will always be in profit. Welcome to this channel traders. This is the second video on AUDJPY. I want to show you how to kill the markets like nobody's business. In fact, if I can show you on my screen, these are the running trades. Currently, I have, I'm still waiting for, for this pair, GBP CHF to be in profit. Okay, we'll probably look at it by the end of the video. Just watch this video till the end. You're going to be excited. For this one, you're going to need uh, the one minute time frame. And then let, let's just scroll back, back, back. Let's just take it from here. Okay, remember yesterday I showed you how to kill this thing on Tokyo. Today, I want us to focus on the London session. Let me show you this. So we say on Tokyo, it makes a very long move. Okay, but on the London, you will see it. So the London started here, moving down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, let's just look at a few more so that you know that this thing really happens most of the time. So during Tokyo, one very long move. I've shown you the strategy for that. During London, it's down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, let's just check some more. Okay, let's not skip. Right here on Tokyo, long move. Okay, London, up, down, up, down, up, down, up down up okay let's take uh maybe a few more let's just focus on the london now tokyo straight up london down up down up okay maybe let me just scroll to a random place let's just pick any random place is this the beginning looks like looks like this is the beginning let's just see what happened right here so tokyo you have down and then up on one long move so but london you have up down up down up down and then up even though it has been moving in an up and down movement let me just zoom out check this it's up down up down up down up down so it's like that now, here is the thing. Now that you have seen how it moves during the London session, see what is happening on GBPCHF. I'm going to show you the strategy for that maybe tomorrow or some other day. So here is the strategy for this thing on the London session. Let's, let's just remove the, the Tokyo session. I showed you that one yesterday. You can watch that video if you didn't see it. So on the London session, you have to switch to the one minute time frame and you have to scalp this thing. What you do is, uh, I'm assuming that you really don't know how to trade. Watch GBPCHF. I showed you that I told you it was going to move deep into profits. So what you have to do right here is trade simple breakouts. Okay. The interesting thing is that even if you go wrong, you will always be in profit. Let us say you you see this breakout and you place a sell trade right there. Okay. Or let us say for some reason you placed a sell trade right there. Let, let's just forget about the, the trend line. I'm assuming that you really don't know how to trade. You don't even know how to draw trend lines. So you place a sell trade right there. And then price moves against you about 15 pips. What you have to do is place another sell trade somewhere there. You might even place two sell trades. Okay. Because 
Remember what price does. Even if you are wrong, at least you know that on London, this pair does this. Okay? It moves in a zigzag. It moves in a zigzag. So if you are wrong here about uh, selling and then it pulls up, you know that it will not go up for a very long time in one straight move. So even if it continues moving up like this, you might even add three sell trades or four sell trades because eventually it is going to pull back and then a small pullback will put you in profit. Once you are in profit, you close everything because now you are not trading for profit, you are trading for recovery. Okay, the first trade is for profit. The second one is for recovery. The following trades are just for recovery. So let's say for some reason right here, okay, right here you put a buy trade and then price pulls back against you. Somewhere here you put two more trades, two, two more buy trades and then guess what? Price pulls against you to this week and you are in profit what do you do you close everything because you are trying to recover the uh, the wrong movement okay you will not uh, lose money this pair on the london session whatever move it makes it is going to be moving in an up and down movement every time during the London session, it is going to be spiking up and down, up and down. It doesn't go in one direction for a very long time. Even right here, even right here, this up move, if you take a very close look within that move, you see that what price does are up and down movements, up and down movements. So you can just target that. Once you are here, and you place a sell trade and price moves up against you you place two or three more sell trades price is going to pull back put you in profit quickly close everything to recover the loss so just try this thing out play around with it you can trade this pair alone it is easier to trade remember i've already showed you how to kill it on the on the Tokyo session which is before the London and then after the Tokyo session you can then kill it on the London for those who don't have this indicator it's easy just come to indicators okay right there type sessions sessions and then you select this one sessions by Lux Algo Go to the settings of the indicator, scroll down to the bottom and check the last four boxes. Okay. Skip range label and check range outline and then you are done. You can just uncheck the sessions that you don't need for that time. For example, Sydney, Tokyo, we don't need them for today. We only leave London. Okay. So this is how you do it, traders. I wish you the best as you try this thing out. And thank you for supporting this channel.